Making your mark with Bookmark? Let's learn how to work with our focus feature when building your site using a single page template. Adding a focus to your Bookmark website can be accomplished in a few quick steps, saving you tons of time compared to having to build these sections from scratch with individual modules. To start, open the Focus tab by clicking on it in the left menu bar. You will see the focus information for this site is automatically displayed. This list shows the focus elements that already exist on the template including About, Photo Gallery, Quote, Team, and Contact Us. You will also see the section elements including Home, About Us, Photos, Team, and Contact. These sections correlate to the navigation menu at the top of your site, and the focus elements are the groups of modules or design elements for each of these sections. At the end of this list, you will see the Add Focus button. When you click this button, options will appear in the Add New Focus window, where you can see thumbnail versions of each focus type. Use the scroll bar on the right side of the window to slide up and down the list. There are many different focus options available, and as you can see, they are listed in alphabetical order for quick reference. Let's add the subscribe focus to your site. Simply click the focus in the window and it will automatically be added. You will see it appear at the bottom of your site and in the left menu bar in your last section and under your last focus, which is the contact us focus on this template. If you hover over our newly added subscribe focus, you will see that you can delete it by simply clicking the X to the right, or you can change its order by hovering over the reorder focus icon to the left and then clicking, dragging, and dropping it. You can change its order within a section, or you can take it to an entirely different section on your site. You can add as many focuses as you wish to your site. When you are finished adding a focus, click the back arrow at the top of the Add New Focus window to close it. Then you can easily edit the modules within the focus by clicking on them and using the edit commands. For more information on editing individual modules, check out our Using Modules How-To video. You will also see the Add section and Add External buttons below the Add Focus button. Remember that adding a section in single page templates correlates to what you see on the top navigation menu of your site. For example, let's add a press section to your site. Simply click the Add Section button and type in Press. Now you can see that you have a press section automatically added to your site at the bottom and last on the top navigation menu. Once you have added your section, you can then place a focus into that section of your site. Repeat the steps as outlined above by clicking Add Focus and making the appropriate choice. For this example, you are going to choose the Featured In Focus. Click the focus and it will automatically appear as shown. Like focuses, I can reorder sections on my website. Just hover over the Reorder Section icon to the left, and then click, drag, and drop the section wherever you like. Moving sections will automatically cause your top navigation menu to reorder itself accordingly. Easy, right? And last but not least, let's explore adding external links. Click the Add External button and you will see a pop-up appear. This is where you simply add a title, such as Amsterdam blog, and then type in the external link address and click OK. When this is complete, you will see an addition in the top navigation menu as titled. Once your site is published, when your site's user clicks that top navigation menu section, they will be taken directly to that external site. Well, I think that is plenty of information to digest. Now you know how you use the focus, section, and external link features with single page templates. It's easy to make your mark with Bookmark.